been interesting to decipher where my ethics and health meet. So, hey there guys, my name is Annabelle, and for those of you who don't know me, I typically make videos about my tiny house, this house that I'm in, and also about my travel, minimalism, forest therapy, not going to college, uh, sustainability in general, building community, and I will be focusing more on some um, health hacking type things, grounding, circadian biology stuff in the future. But there has been so much vegan drama lately, and uh, I happen to be vegan myself, and so I wanted to um, create an unbiased video out there because I just don't feel like there's a lot of videos of people coming from a really compassionate place understanding that we all choose different paths in our lives and what we once chose and thought was the best and most optimal thing for us might not be for some reason. Um, and so I'm just going to dive into a couple things and feel free to leave comments below um, if anything resonated or didn't resonate with you. I'm happy to uh, respond to some more, uh, let's see, how do we say this, um, some more maybe opinionated people that might take one side or the other. The few of you who actually watch my videos on a regular basis, I, I apologize that this is a little different, but um, it feels necessary and I had a lot to say because um, that was the first video I made was about, about uh, I think it was about being or watching Cowspiracy, the documentary, and being vegan. So I've just simply been seeing, you know, a handful of people over the last two to three years go back to eating meat. And I f feel like I have a place and a space to say, um, <clears throat> to share my opinion in this kind of more extreme vegan world. And then there's also some people popping up and, um, you know, just being pretty extreme back to to vegans. And so I don't feel like it's one way. I think vegans get a lot of hate in general, but um, I do think it kind of goes both ways at this point. Often people come to veganism because they either are looking for better health, they believe um, environmentally and sustainably that it's better to eat a vegan diet, or they're coming at it from a place of ethics where they don't feel like they should be contributing to the suffering of other animals as a source of food. So over the years I've heard a lot of people say their different opinions about what it means to be a vegan and um, often in a lot of the response videos criticizing ex-vegans they talk about how they were never really vegan, which I feel like is totally BS because the definition of being vegan is to not be consuming um, any animal products or, or goods that may have come from an animal. So that includes, you know, fur and honey and other, other things like that. <clears throat> and so after someone says that they're vegan and are living that way, and then they decide to go back to claim that they were never really vegan is totally incorrect. They were vegan, but, but now they're not. So you could say they're not vegan now, but I just kind of feel like that's a um, insensitive response to maybe some pain that came up in you because you have made that connection so deeply that you would never go back um, for any reason you feel like. Um, but again, I just feel like it's really insensitive. While you may not agree with someone and their decision to go back to eating meat, I think it's important to um, like completely shun them from the, the vegan community or whatever community they were once a part of. Um, it's disrespectful and I feel like it's losing all chances that they would want to come back. and if they did choose to 
live a vegan lifestyle again, the likelihood that they would actually promote promote it like that and um, label themselves as vegan seems highly unlikely. So I was raised vegetarian, excluding eggs. We didn't eat eggs. And my parents were vegan slash macrobiotic uh, before my older brothers were born. And then my older brothers were born a couple years in. Um, they, they moved from state to state and uh, were right near a raw dairy farm and ended up starting to, to eat um, dairy products again. And so then I was born later and um, so I was raised vegetarian. So I went vegan five years ago because I didn't want to support support the exploitation of animals in any way. For in my case, it was only dairy products as a, as a source of food. I continue to feel super good and super healthy eating this way. And for me, it was ultimately a ethical and moral choice above anything else. Do I think you can eat meat and dairy products and be healthy? I do. Do I think you can eat fast food, junk food, factory farmed, uh, deep fried in oil, meat or dairy, or even be a junk food vegan? I don't think that's healthy for you. That's very clear. But do I think if you're eating um, some healthier, uh, which in a moral sense, I don't feel like there's a healthier option. I'm not going to get into that, but from, from a stance of your health, I do think you can be healthy eating meat and dairy products. For me personally, I could not be healthy because of the way I was raised and the emotional and psychological wiring of who I am and, um, how I was raised would not allow me to eat specifically meat products because I never have in my life. Um, I won't say that I never would go back to eating dairy products while um, right now I don't think I would, obviously with a lot of certainty, um, but I am so certain that I will never eat meat products or um, seafood or eggs in in my life. So in a couple other videos people said that you know it's naive to think that you would never eat meat and dairy products again. Which I think for the majority of people, for the person who came from a um, you know originally a meat and dairy based way of eating that then went vegan, I can see how someone who also went through that maybe would say hey that's totally naive of you to say you'll never go back. Um, but I also think it's kind of disrespectful to the people who were raised this way and are saying, hey, no, what about me? Because I know with certainty that I will not eat meat and dairy products. It never was an option and never will be. So ultimately, people who are going from being vegan to not being vegan ultimately just valued their personal health above what they previously um, shared to be their their ethical and moral um, beliefs. And some shared a lot more than others. Some have shared a lot about how animals are treated and how it's wrong and factory farming, etc. And some haven't shared a lot. But that doesn't mean, um, you know, that what I said earlier doesn't still stand. It might not apply so much to some people as it does to others. And when I say personal health, it's not just about food. I think often people associate personal health with food or maybe exercise. And, you know, personal health has a huge wide range and there's nothing wrong with valuing your personal health. Um, just like I said earlier, for my personal health, I could not eat an animal. I just couldn't. It's, um, again, it's against who I am as a person. If you don't have your health, you have nothing. We all know that. We've all heard that saying before. I, personally, will always choose to find my answers 
to my personal health within the vegan community, the vegan world. Because that also relates to my personal health, which is the point I, I keep making. As for someone else, maybe their health issues they don't feel like can be met through a vegan diet and they choose to eat go back to eating meat and dairy products now it's very confusing and hard to articulate at times because I feel like I can relate to both sides and I am immersed in both sides I think you hear that phrase that until the fear of of staying where you are outweighs the fear of actually going for what you want, you won't create change. It's whatever in your life adds up to your personal health. And if your emotional, psychological attachment to um, preserving animals, not promoting the violence of animals, if that fits in with your personal health, then that's awesome. But for some people, it really doesn't. And um, I just feel like people need to understand that there's so much more to health. Just because you're vegan does not mean you are healthy. So many other factors, like I've been talking about, play a role in health. So I've been immersed in the biohacking world for several months now. And it's been interesting to decipher where my ethics and health meet. And when I talk about biohacking, I'm talking about cold thermogenesis, circadian biology, red light therapy, sunlight, the importance of sunlight, grounding, EMF radiation, and blue light, and so much more. That's why I have these glasses. It's to block the blue light after a certain hour. At the end of the day, we all make our own choices. It's all our own journeys, and we do what we feel is best in every moment with the knowledge and resources that we have available at the moment. I've seen comments about, you know, oh, you didn't try hard enough, you didn't do, do it right, you don't care about the innocent animals that are dying for the food that you're putting on your plate. And while it might appear that way from the outside, and don't get me wrong, that thought has definitely crossed my mind through all these videos. I'm really not sure that it matters at this point. And even as I said that, I felt like, gosh, I'm being so insensitive to the millions of animals that are dying as I'm even speaking about this topic now. But I recognize that the more we blatantly share our opinions and perspective on someone else's life that we see through a video screen, um, through our computers, through our phones, wherever we're watching it, the more they will be turned away. And sometimes I think, you know, what if a family member of mine, or maybe, you know, maybe one of your children was vegan and isn't vegan, or maybe your parents were vegan and decide to go back to eating meat and dairy products. Would you respond the way that some of these people have been responding or even the way you're commenting? No, there's no way you would respond that way. Now I get that, you know, everyone kind of has the space now to share their opinion and um, it's really great and awesome. It's, there's, you know, nothing like the platform that YouTube has created in order to share our experiences, opinions, and knowledge with other people. But I think you just got to take a step back. You have to pause and think, oh my gosh, you know, if my mother went, you know, back to eating meat and dairy after eating, um, you know, vegan for 10 years, or my brother goes back to eating meat and dairy products, would you respond, you know, totally shunning them? No, you'd have compassion for their choice and do your best to understand where they're coming from and know that they had the same knowledge you had. They were immersed in the vegan world and now they've shot down another path that they feel like is better for their health. It's not our place to judge other people. 
as I say that, I am immediately triggered to a, uh, a phrase that another vegan couple that's on YouTube uh, says frequently, which is, it's our right to judge if what you're doing is hurting other living, feeling, breathing beings. And I identify with that. But I also identify with the humanness of who we are and the journey that we're here on. And I can't, I can't shun people. Is it surprising? Is it hurtful? Um, were there points that I was angry? Yes. Were there points that I'm watching these videos about circadian biology and understanding brain health and I'm looking and seeing all this data that says I need to be eating fish and eggs and it's like, well, that's not even part of my diet and never will be. Is there a part of me that I'm like, hmm, I wonder how I can figure out how to optimize my health within the vegan world for me to better suit what this research might be saying, yes, I think about those things. And for someone else who might have come from a meat and dairy background and has chosen to be vegan and sees this data, why wouldn't they go back to eating meat and dairy, right? And so it's just the question of where your ethics and health, personal health meet and where your values are. You know, I kind of find it funny sometimes because you know at times I am judgmental and at times I'm really compassionate and it just kind of goes back and forth and I'm doing my best here in this video to kind of share like what I truly feel but I, I brought up the analogy while you know some vegans might say it it doesn't really apply because what I'm about to share has nothing to do with another living being um, you know, I started this YouTube channel and it was all about my tiny house. It was my tiny house build. And since then, I've grown so much. I've shared many different videos over the course of, you know, a year and a half that have nothing to do with my tiny house. And to say that, you know, now that I'm choosing to sell my tiny house and I'm moving on, you know, who's to say that in three years I decide to have a, ma a mansion, which I, <laughs> I don't think I will because I want a different type of house. But say I did, say I wanted a mansion. Are people gonna comment and totally discredit my journey earlier with my tiny house and minimalism and downsizing? No, it's all part of our journey. It's part of our growth. It's part of this beautiful experience we get to live. And so while I'm choosing to live vegan, that doesn't mean that anyone else's experience in life or maybe their genes or their specific health needs um, may or may not be met on a vegan diet. There's research that goes both ways. And I'm not here to say, okay, this research is right and that is fudged. That's not our, that's not our role. Our role is to have compassion and accept other people's journeys. <sighs> people change. We all change. But a sure way to keep people away from whatever community they were once a part of and are now choosing to leave is by completely shunning them and telling them they did everything wrong and were never really part of the community to begin with in the first place. I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it wasn't too much and I look forward to having further conversations about this um, in the future if it's wanted. But I I really felt like it was important for me to share my perspective and understanding of, of this topic because I feel like not enough people are sharing compassion and, um, you know, you just wouldn't respond to people the way that pe others are responding through videos on YouTube or through comments, at least most people. And I also want to make it clear, and I'll make it clear in more videos in the future, because, um, you know, what I share on here is my journey. 
and what has worked for me. And to say a blanket statement of, you know, this is amazing, this will work for you, I feel like is a little bit um, incorrect. So if I have said that in relation to veganism, um, you know, I, I don't want to, to you know, ha have any answers that feel definite or any responses or opinions that are not prefaced with, hey, you know, this is my experience of life and this is what's really working for me and, um, you know, if if you feel like this might be something you want to explore, you know, make sure to look at the research. All right, I hope you had an amazing day. Let me put these glasses on because I want to keep my melatonin rolling. More on these soon. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you had a amazing day, and I will see you soon in another video. Bye. Life is wonderful. Life is wonderful. Never understood. But life.